Hello, my name is Luke, and welcome back to another Interbotics tutorial. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Interbotics X Series ARM descriptions package for ROS2. Going a little bit in depth, this package contains Zacro files, URDFs, uh, mesh files, and texture files that are all relevant for the robot description topic. This also includes a couple of launch files that launch some nodes that are important for publishing state information and joint information for the robot. To start, we're going to look at the repository. So in the repository, we have a few directories. The launch directory contains two launch files, remote view and XSRM description. The meshes directory, which contains all of the meshes for the different X-Series ARMs. The RVIS folder, which contains the RVIS config file. And the URDF folder, which contains um, Zacro URDF generating macro files. So we are going to start with those files. We're going to take a look at the URDF for the WX200 specifically. So this file is a Zacro file, which means that you input different arguments and pull in any properties or other Zacro files, and it generates a URDF from those. So here are the different arguments, the different properties. And then further down, you have uh, link and joint information for the entirety of the robot. And you also have a few special Zacro files. So you have the AR tag, which gets pulled in if you use the show AR tag uh, Zacro argument. And then the control Zacro, which gets pulled in if using um, things like ROS2 control or gazebo ROS2 control. The mesh directory, as I said, contains uh, meshes for all of the X-Series robots. It also contains the Interbotics black uh, texture file, which gets displayed in RViz. So again, we have the standalone AR tag, which is the same for all platforms. You can view its mesh there. And again, going to the WX200, you have all of its meshes. So we'll take a look at the base and forearm, and you can just see those. And all of those are pulled in from the URDF. Next, we're going to look at the RVIS configuration file. Um, you're never really going to change this manually. Uh, this gets loaded if using the um, X-Series ARM descriptions uh, packages launch files. Um, and this just dic dictates how RViz looks, what plugins it loads, what displays it shows, and which panels it shows. And this uh, X-Series ARM description RViz config file is very basic. Um, it just shows the displays and panels necessary uh, to use the X-Series ARMs. So finally, we're going to take a look at the launch files. The one that we're going to be looking at specifically is the XSRM description launch file. And if you're familiar with ROS1, their launch file system, that is purely written in XML. Um, in ROS2, we have the option to write launch files in XML, YAML, or Python. We opted to write them in Python uh, because of how powerful those launch files are um, with all of the different, um, or just how extensible the language is. Uh, so we'll take a look at the launch file a little bit more in depth by seeing the arguments. So we're going to go into our Interbotics ROS2 workspace. We're going to source the workspace.
and we're going to launch our, or we're going to do the show argument uh, flag for the XSRM descriptions, XSRM description.launch.py. And this S flag will show all of the different arguments uh, that you can use from the command line or when entering into this launch file from any higher level uh, launch file if you choose to do an include. So <clears throat> the launch arguments that you have to work with are robot model, um, which you have all of your choices here. Um, so this robot model will dictate which URDF is loaded. Robot name. Um, it defaults to the robot model, but you can set it to anything that you want. Um, this dictates what namespace all of the robot topics and services are placed into. Use Arvis. Um, if set to true, it loads Arvis. Use joint pub, launches the joint state publisher node. Use joint pub GUI, launches the, the joint state publisher GUI. Uh, Arvis config is the absolute file path uh, to the Arvis config file. The one that we saw earlier is the default. And then some other ones are things that are relevant for generating the URDF, uh, like baselink frame, scripper, and show AR tag. And then at the bottom, you see this really long and complicated robot description argument. Um, this is the actual generation of the robot description uh, parameter that gets loaded into the robot state publisher node. So it's a uh, Zacro, and then Interbotics XSRM description, URDF robot model, and then URDF.Zacro, and they can see all of the different arguments that it has. So like we saw before, like robot name, uh, baseling frame, Etc. So from here, we're actually going to launch the XSRM description launch file. So we do ROS2 launch Turbotics XSRM description. I'm just using tab completion here to make everything easier. And the only required argument um, is robot model, because that chooses what uh, you already have to load. So that to WX200. And there I'm going to open a new tab, source the workspace again. We're going to load the RQT graph, so this just visualizes everything. So by default, the only one that is loaded is the robot state publisher. And the robot state publisher is responsible for reading in that robot description parameter that it's given uh, from the generated URDF, and then publishing information like um, the robot description parameter to the topic robot description. So from here, we're going to actually launch the XSRM descriptions launch file. Press to launch, Interbotics, XSRM description, XSRM description.launch.py, robot model, WX200. And so this, again, um, dictates which uh, URDF is loaded. And we're also going to do use joint pub GUI, set that equal to true, uh, just so it publishes uh, the state information and all of the joint states are not empty. So this joint state publisher, okay. So this is Arvis, which is the robot visualizer. All that this program does is allow you to visualize different uh, topics and uh, parameters inside of a very nice, self-contained, um, extensible program. You can see the ones or the displays that we have on. The relevant ones, at least, are robot model, which is uh, you know the the mesh information um, and different link information. So it subscribes to the topic robot description. And TF, if we look at just that, that shows the different uh, frames for each of the links and joints. We can set our alpha equal to something like 
five. And we can see both of them pretty clearly at the same time. So using the joint state publisher, we can see how each of the joints uh, rotates, whether positive or negative. You can also figure this out through the right hand rule. So you can see that if you zoom in closely here, uh, the waist link and the base link um, frames are on the same spot. You can see that it is rotating about the waist link's z axis. Let's go back to center that. Uh, you can see that the shoulder link is rotating about the y axis. Come up to here. The elbow joint is rotating about the y axis. Wrist angle is rotating about the y axis. Wrist rotate is its x axis. We can see, uh, let's actually hide. We'll keep okay. So the gripper link is rotating about the x axis. And the left finger and right finger move along their y-axis. Uh, one important note is that for inverse kinematics purposes, uh, we look at the transform between the base link and the end effector gripper link here. So along with RViz, it also launches a few other nodes, and we can take a look at that using the RT, RQT graph utility. Uh, so this just shows the uh, different nodes that are loaded in circles and the topics as these uh, graph edges. So Robot State Publisher takes in the robot description parameter that we generated from the URDF Sacro. Um, and publishes it on the robot description topic. It also publishes uh, TF and static TF information um, through forward kinematics based on the position of the joints. Um, and the joint state publisher um, takes in that robot description topic, reads it for any um, non-fixed joints, looks for any non-fixed joint, and publishes those to the joint states topic. So that's it for the X-Series ARM descriptions package. See you in the next video.